okay so let's take a look at how you can connect tableau to microsoft sql server so as you can see on left hand side you get to connect to files and servers so if you click on more you will find list of all the databases data lake and whatever the cloud service options that you can get are listed here right and also microsoft sql server is there as well right so what we're going to do is first open our local microsoft sql server management studio and i'm going to show you what credentials are required for connecting to tableau right so let me show you this particular server name which is very important we are going to select this right and by selecting we will be copying this right and we are going to keep the option windows authentication here as it is click connect next thing go to databases then choose your database then navigate to table which you wish to get into tableau here you see insurance data medic orders and users so let's say if i have this insurance data again run select query and view it right but there isn't much i can show on visualization unfortunately i don't have good enough databases to show on tableau visualization so for now just continue with this table now next let's pick orders table here you see a lot of data here not sure if everything is easy to view here so we will just go through that now next thing we have table with like thousand of rows here you have your orders being executed its price and order total right so we get to extract the data out of this particular orders table right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the credentials from sql server and use it here within tableau so click on microsoft sql server here you see we need to add server name right i will just paste it here then you can add the database or you can simply ignore it for now i would say just ignore it because later it gives you option to choose the database and you can go with that then you have your authentication stick with windows authentication now simply tap on sign in and it will give you access to this connection which leads to access to the databases under it right so we will simply use the type of database that we just created here with those respective tables let's see it was test db right so once we select this test db inside you will find all the tables and we can check them one by one to see how it looks we also have the stored procedures which also come in with it so here you see the orders table i dropped in and here it will give you option to update its output immediately or by clicking update now as you can see it has shown the respective data right now what we can do click on this particular sheet to go further for data visualization and work with analysis so see if i have product category i dropped it on rows and then order total which i dropped here right and it should show me the tableau sheet right so currently it seems to have some issues that's why we are not getting this particular tableau format right so you deal with dimension and measures to display your particular visualized graphs and charts right so that's one thing the next thing is you have few more other tables to go through so you have let's say 
new table to use here you can have tables which have some sort of connection in between them then you can connect them by dropping them here or if they have no connection you can remove them so let me drop users as it is users data it has nothing to do with other table right same with insurance data it has specific data but it doesn't have any uh, strong value to check through as it's generic data right so it's not popular data so there is isn't much for stats then there are medic data right so these are some of the tables i have within my test db which is pretty generic data so not much for visualization there right now this also means that you get to use it with other connections as well so i have connected to sql server i can add additional connections right so that's also possible right and you can also check your connection rename it and you can use initial sql here also there are two more options which are custom sql right and there is also new in new in an option and then there is also stored procedure that you can execute and get output which could be viewed with output from your data right so that's one of the things that you can do with your uh, sql server connection on tableau right if you have multiple tables which have some some form of connection in populous data or data that you can use for stats operation you can open it here within tableau and you can check them okay okay one more interesting thing you can do is you can check few more options one being custom sql which i already explained here you can write your custom sql query that you can execute against the database selected right make sure the tables are visible before you see those queries being run right also you can refer to the tableau's sql query help section in order to check whether those queries are properly run right once you run that you can click ok and you will get the output here also there is union option where you can manually drop the tables or choose wildcard option right then also one more thing that i didn't explain by selecting is store procedure you can simply drop them here you get specific output based on that store procedure right and then you can view that here as well right here you see number of records are your majors within columns then you have medicine rules so here there seems to be mismatch between dimensions and majors so the data is not properly viewed here right as you can see list of your medicine are properly viewed here but number of records don't match up right because those being different measures right so by going through your stored procedure and your database table you can then visualize your data properly right also one more thing is analyzing your data right once you drop in your column and rows properly you get to analyze them and summarize your data right so depending on the type of data that you are connected to you get to visualize your output and also get to analyze your data properly on tableau right so go through this by connecting to your all available databases then select their tables as you can see tableau has created its own database temdb and added its buffer output here as a tables right and apart from that you have connected to report servers as well but 
you already have those in report so no need to dig up the uh, partial data there instead connect to the data which gives you actual raw data to which you can connect to and then you can extract values and through sheets you can view this as well as analyze its output